Welcome to the video ladies and gentlemen, today we're going to take a look at Vigor, a new exclusive to Xbox survival game by Bohemia Interactive, set in Norway 1991. Scandinavia, mostly untouched by the fallout of the war, remains the last safe zone in a post-apocalyptic Europe. Well that's the basics out of the way, but it will be coming to a game preview on the Xbox as it is an exclusive from summer 2018, and it will be free to play from February 2019. You can apply for the game preview for Xbox on the link in the description below. And I hope to see as many of you in there as possible because I will be there recording footage. I'll have to dust off the old Elgato capture and the Xbox and get some footage done and record and stream 8 to 16 players in this new survival experience on the Xbox. Let's read a little bit more about the game though, shall we? According to the website, Vigor is a tense multiplayer experience where you take risks to progress. As an outlander in a post-war Norway, you have to improve a dilapidated shelter and turn it into a home, a haven amidst a fallen civilization. This requires you to head out into the number of map-based encounters for 8 to 16 players to scavenge for supplies and gather resources. But how is Vigor different from other games, you ask? In Vigor, you're not constricted to a specific style of play, and you won't be solely competing to be the last man standing. Yes, a core component of the game is to survive, and yes, it is every man for himself. But survival in Vigor doesn't have to be at the expense of someone else's death. You don't have to enter encounters with the mindset of kill or be killed. The gameplay doesn't rely on creating a scenario where there is a definitive victor at the end of each match. Vigor is much more than that. Enter an encounter, loot, stay alive and get out. That's the process in its most simplistic form. How long you stay, how much you loot and how you choose to engage with other survivors. All of this is up to you. With this, a large portion of the game boils down to risks versus reward. Sounds familiar. The less you risk, the less loot you'll probably walk away with, but the less likely you are to end up dead. And dying in vigor means you lose everything you have on you, including the gear you brought into the encounter. This constant risk of progression loss makes for an extremely tense gaming experience. So far, vigor kind of sounds like Tarkov a little bit. You go into these encounters or maybe raids and uh, try and survive and get loot and get out with 8 to 16 players, similar to how Tarkov is done. But it does have this house or this shelter you can upgrade. Uh, maybe you're just based of operations and that's where you get your gear and you load up to go into the worlds or one of many. Maybe maps that are created for 8 to 16 players because I can't imagine them being too big. Get in, get your loot, get out, back to your house organize your loot and do it again to get an even better character maybe or better weapons and it sounds interesting and having it as an exclusive to xbox as well it gives us that kind of like tarkov slash survival experience that's really not present on the xbox at the moment but anyway let's carry on with how do you feel as an outlander in vigor deliberation is an essential part of the vigor experience as you have to be mindful of your choices at all times there is no kill feed and you won't be notified when players leave the map Therefore, you'll never quite know just how many other Outlanders are still in the area at any given time. Do you try your luck and compete for the valuable airdrop? Do you sit tight and scope out the area? Do you get out while you can and eliminate any chances of being ambushed? You have to be tactful when considering your options. Know when to engage, know when to retreat, and know when to risk everything. It's all about getting the right balance if you want to progress in the unforgiving world of vigor. Additionally, with limited resources and a short supply of ammunition, enemy engagement is always a gamble. You'll have to be precise, you'll have to be committed, and you'll have to be absolutely sure it's worth it. You'll be looking to measure twice, cut once with your approach whenever you can. So now let's get a little bit more information on where Vigor is exactly located. After Central Europe was devastated by nuclear war, people fled to areas which were mainly untouched by the destruction and inevitable fallout of the conflict. One of those places was Norway, and this is where Vigor takes place. However, the fight for limited resources led to a harsh mentality of every man for himself, and now this haven has turned into an unforgiving land of survival. You'll come across a derelict shelter, and you'll make it your purpose to improve and fortify this new home, with the aim of turning it into a sanctuary. From this shelter, you'll head out to six different locations, each with unique geography, atmosphere and weather, to scavenge for resources. I think Vigor would do really well as an Xbox exclusive, especially starting with Game Preview this summer. There is nothing like it on the Xbox currently. Yes, you've got survival games like Ark, but that's pretty much it. So I'll be giving Vigor a go. It sounds like a mix of Tarkov and of course Daisy, maybe some elements from that, and this will keep us going until Daisy hits the Xbox later this year. 
Now let's have some final words and plans from Bohemia themselves. A successful start for the upcoming Xbox game preview during this summer is of vital importance to us. The core game loop of Vigor is now ready, so we need to gather as much feedback from the community about the experience as we can. We are also preparing major game updates that are currently in development, so the game will continue to evolve from here on. Meanwhile, our communication efforts with the community will also continue to grow and develop. We are already preparing live streams so we can show you what's going on with Vigor's development. And the official website will begin to expand with new pages specifically dedicated to our community, including a roadmap, downloads, facts, and more. Of course, don't forget this is being made by a different branch of Bohemia. Nothing to do with the Daisy development team, so don't start saying, Oh, you've not finished DayZ yet and you're making another survival game? What the hells? Just don't do it, alright? In all seriousness though, I am really looking forward to Vigor. Let me know in the comments below what your thoughts are on Vigor. The gameplay in the background, of course, is all the footage we've got at the moment. Hopefully more footage soon. And of course, I will deliver it myself via Twitch and YouTube. So don't forget to follow me on both those platforms. Subscribe, like, get in the Twitters, follow us on social, and jump in our Discord for all the information you need. Hope to see you on it. I'll be on it on Xbox. Looking forward to it. I love you all, and I'll see you peeps next time.